All right, boys and girls, welcome back. This video is going to be, this is a remake. I did one earlier and uploaded it and then saw the quality of it and I was like, wow, that really sucked. So this is the latch to a 04 Pontiac Grand Prix glove box. They're notorious for breaking right here. So this is the old one. The idea behind this video is to get this lock cylinder out so your keys will work for your glove box. So, like I said, there's a little plastic latch inside of here that's notorious for breaking. Um, to get it out, there's plenty of videos that you can watch, and it's basically this piece here. When you pull up on your handle, this will. This is basically what holds the mechanism into place. You'll grab it and you'll pull down to get that out. Now. With that said, now we're gonna go and I'm gonna, like I said, I took this all apart and cut it open so you got a better view and you can understand what I'm talking about. Now, if you look right here, you'll see this little shiny silver thing. That's basically a lock tab. And it's gonna come over here when you put your key into this other little hole right here. It's going to go right there. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna just put your, your key into the hole. If you watch that little tab, when we turn it, comes over here now you can't turn anymore because that like I said is a lock tab so instead of trying to go and get into here and pick it out and everything it's not gonna work so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that there take a screwdriver and or pick you're basically gonna go set here push it in then you're gonna turn your key make sure it's pushed all the way in or you're gonna fight it basically you're gonna turn it to where this piece is on the top of your little latch. And then what you do is now you can take that and pull it up. Okay. Now, if you're like me and many other people, and you see it's all out, empty, gone, bye-bye. Push those off to the side. If you're... Uh, Anything like me and everyone else, you'll go to the wrecking yard and go buy one of these and uh, try and get it to where, you know, you want to make sure your key works, but it's going to be the wrong key. And having multiple sets of keys for different locks kind of sucks. Believe me, I know. So anyways, the idea behind your key is you've got these little cams that lock into place. The idea behind that is your key, when you push those in, will go and they'll level out smoothly across. So, here's a downfall to that. When you don't have the key for it, you gotta get yourself a fine, itty bitty, tiny little screwdriver. And what you can do, just as a demonstration, inside of here, you'll see that it takes a little finagling, but you can go and push down on the bottom parts and they will come down. Now, don't think that that's going to make it to it works perfectly because then they come out there. And as you see, they're different levels. Some are low, some are high. So you're going to have to kind of wiggle it around, find the right spot while you're putting turning pressure onto this. Easiest way i found is to take some vice grips, grab a hold of this back piece, and while you're turning it, you're going to push down on those tabs. Once you've done that and got it to spin all the way around, you can pull this off and then now you can push this out like that now don't get them confused mine aren't so easy to aren't so easy to confuse because one's black and one's silver this is the one i can't use now to install it literally you put it in upside down like this you make sure this opening that is right here you see this opening right there better view right there you got to make sure that that lines up with this piece here on the new one so it'll be right up there so basically you're going to go take this and you will slide the new one in or your old one that works with your key you will take your key you will put it in and then from there you'll turn it now this one is in where it needs to be and it works with the key now the key works new latch works 
everything's fine and dandy. And of course, to go and pull this off, there's a Phillips head screw and a Phillips head screw there when you go to pull these off. Real simple stuff. Uh, just felt like making that quick video for you guys because I know in all honesty, I'm not a fan of having a glove box that I can't lock, especially if you carry important things in there. So you can pull the old one out. Like I said, you're just going to literally get in here with a little tiny screwdriver and you're going to finagle these cams down while you're putting turning pressure on it to make that happen. So it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Don't get discouraged if you're having trouble with it. Don't throw it across the room and break something. And other than that, I think we're good. So just uh, remember, high five your mama for me and hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe if you want to. If not, all good. There we go. All good. Either way. Doesn't matter. Either way. It's good. Awesome. Thank you.